Hey, this is Joe Price. I just wanted to show a really neat way you can use Google Photos to find photos that have two different people in the same photo. So let me share my screen so you can see how this uh, works. Okay, so here's Google Photos. When you come in here, you can hit Explore and it'll, uh, it'll actually group together. It'll use facial recognition to group together everyone, uh, every photo of that person. Uh, so what my wife and I did is we put our you know, thousands and thousands of photos that were sitting on external drives and on our computer and laptop and other places. We put them all onto Google Photos. The facial recognition on Google Photos and now allows us to sort our photos by people and place and other things. You can even type in things like birthday, baptism, wedding, and or uh, running, chess, you know, get some really specialized photos. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you have used Google Photos already. I just wanted to show you uh, one thing I really like to do on Google Photos, which is search for two people at the same time. So here I can do, uh, I can do myself and then I can go, so my son's birthday is coming up. So I can type in his name and this will actually find all the photos where the two of us are together. Okay. So you can see, we can kind of zoom down. There's some family trips we went on together. This is a conference we went together. This is when we went and saw Wicked. You can see, um, you know, other, we went to the temple together. So what I love about this is you could take anyone in your life. You could use this feature to see all the photos you took together and it might bring back memories and maybe that'll help you, you know, send a, send a note uh, to kind of talk about some of those memories. The other things that I really like uh, about this is if you have a family reunion coming up, you can actually type in three people that are unlikely to be in the same photo except at a family reunion. And so that could allow you to maybe find the photos of all your past reunions. Um, I also just like it when I'm sending a letter to a missionary uh, in my ward or elsewhere, I can go and look in any photos I have of that person and maybe any photos that we have together. And maybe that can make the letter you send a little more uh, personal. So I hope that um, this video was uh, helpful. I think the main thing I wanted to emphasize is just the power of facial recognition to help group together our photos and make them easier to search. Uh, and just highlight some ways in which we can use searching for two people or three people in the same photo as a way to gather family history memories. Here's the last one I'd share is if you have a deceased uh, ancestor, uh, what you could do is go on Google Photos and find all the photos of you with that person. And you might think about what would be the, the, the two or three that are the most important to you. You can upload that photo to Family Search on their profile. You can tell your story. But this could create a really meaningful memory of, uh, for that person's profile that might actually bring you know, lots of happiness and strength to other people that are, are related to your, your ancestors. Um, so uh, we hope you have a great experience. And, um, you know, Google Photos is just one of many tools we can use to do meaningful.